Okay, so we've reached this phase in which we have to take the character a little further. Now I ran some testing here on my machine to see how far I can take this and it's very important to note those steps also to judge upon what you're capable of doing here in ZBrush because you, you might run out of physical memory, virtual memory, whatever. So here I have a whole bunch of subtools. And some of these subtools, if we look under miscellaneous, this subtool alone is 3.7 million. And it can go higher than that because it's only on level 6. Okay. Now, this could be taken two ways. Um, you can either if you have a very fast machine you're going to take it into the point where it's got all the pieces into one giant huge piece and in this case I calculated out to be 7 million poly for all the pieces to be on the same piece now due to screen capturing and all that good stuff I am not going to be able to do that it will crash so I'm going to lean this down for me I'm going to choose a level 6 for the creature. Let's see what level 5 looks like. Level 5 isn't all that bad. I'm going to choose level 5, knowing I can always come back here and create a level 7 or 6 later on. Okay. So the trick here is we need to get all the sub tools up to the same level. So I'm going to save this as a different thing because I don't want to I don't want to interrupt it. So I'm going to call this Topo 12 and it's going to ask me to replace it. So very important if you want to preserve your character the way it is, uh, save him out because we're going to get rid of some of these unknown subtools. So here this lower range mesh, I don't need it anymore. I don't need this weird thing that I created for the arm. I don't need my uh, topology rig. Okay, so now I got him, I got his armor pieces. Now his armor pieces. If he's a 5, they have to be a 5. So this might work because now I'm losing one level for each one. Uh, before I, I beta tested this and I had uh, six levels for every part. This part I do not need. This is junk. This is the breastplate that I need. Of course later on you know, you could technically eliminate all the, some of these inner polygons that are on these double-sided faced um, objects. In other words, you don't need an interior for this one because I don't see underneath it. Same with the breastplate. I don't see underneath that, so I probably don't need the polygons on the inside. Those are things you could do in Maya um, in the mapping phase or in the cleanup phase at the very end though when you reduce some polygons okay everything is at five now what I need you to do is take and delete lower for every one lower even him.
I like doing this process by hand. They used to have a tool that did it all for you, but at least this way, you know, I know what's going on. The other one felt kind of scary because it all happens at once and yeah. I think it was called Subtool Master. Okay, so now each part individually I'm looking at roughly a million. Oh no, 274,000 for this part. That's good. It's really good. That's why it's important not to get all fancy with the sculpts yet. So I'm merging these down and I'm choosing to do the armor first. Save it. Okay, now the armor itself is not even a million. That's good. What about him? He's close to a million also. So, roughly together, I should have just looked at the total points, two million. And that's good. That's really good for a development phase here. So we got this, this, and now what I can do is merge down and pray but I do have this saved yeah there we go sweet okay now the secret uh, will be revealed in the next uh, video well no I'm gonna take it right here actually because it's gonna take some time I need you to hit reconstruct subdivide when it gets down to five stop Okay, so that should be your lowest mesh. Okay, reconstruct subdivide. I'm going to start mine now, and then you hit yours. The first couple are going to just fly by. The last one's going to take forever to do. It always does. So hit that and meet me back in the next video when you have five.